All right, so here we are, part two of the hiking hash browns episode. I've hiked out here to my little now dripping wiki up. Uh, it's not finished, and plus we're above freezing for the first time in a long time. So we're going to go ahead and get the, some water going and uh, get ready to see how this stuff tastes. I'm going to start with two cups of water for the hash browns. And then another cup and a half for some tea. Um, so whenever we're dealing with the alcohol stove, the one problem that I have is the bulb syringe gets too hard to, uh, to squeeze. So I stick it up under my armpit for a couple of seconds, maybe a half a minute. Okay. All right. So that seems like it's going to work good enough for us. Um, I use denatured alcohol for my alcohol stove. And I know you're not supposed to put it in an MR, MSR bottle, but I do. It's a titanium stove, weighs uh, just barely an ounce. And so the fill hole is really, really small. This is why I've got to use the uh, bulb syringe to put my alcohol in there. All right, that seems to be uh, nice and full. So definitely put the top back on the uh, flammable stuff here. Fire up, uh, fire it up with some good old matches here. Now. The thing about alcohol is you will not see a flame hardly, so be careful about that. All right, put matches away back in the bag. Don't want them getting wet. Always cover your uh, water to boil faster. And we're going to put a windscreen around it. Well, it's not really windy, but it's going to help retain some of the heat. There we go. Now all we do is sit there and watch water boil. So you guys have a good day. All right. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out, but we finally got some boilage going on. So it's time to uh, pull this off and uh, add some hash browns. So this is the uh, hash browns, uh, tomatoes, onions, green pepper, and mushrooms. All right, so we got that in there. Give it a little stir. And we're gonna cover it to retain the heat. But I also don't want it sitting on the on the snow, so I'm going to cover it with a couple of tortillas. That way the tortillas will hopefully soften up a little bit. And 
and it'll also keep it warm while that rehydrates. Uh, it's going to take about 15 minutes for that, and uh, it should be done. And while we wait on this, I'm going to take the camera and uh, do a little walk outside here so we can see what we got going on. Okay, so this is what I am looking at while I wait for my hash browns to cook. And we'll do a half uh, a hash brown cooking waiting on the stuff to heat up in front of my shelter. Selfie. With the dog. What's up, Chino? How you doing? You want some hash browns? Huh? Weirdo. Alright, excuse me, sir. Ah, move. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got some pretty good looking uh, stuff there. So, I decided since it's colder than most people's refrigerators out here, it wouldn't hurt to bring a little uh, shredded cheese. Um, this is smoked Gouda. I shredded it before I brought it out here. Figured I'd add a little bit more flavor to it. And one other thing I brought is some Frank's hot sauce. If nobody else is out here to eat it, I can just uh, make it as spicy as I like it. So let's stir that up right there. Probably should have done this a little bit sooner. The cheese really isn't melting that much. So. We're going to put it on a, yeah, I can grab the pot so it just tells you how cold, how warm it is now. That worked pretty good with the, uh, using the tortillas to cover up the, uh, cover it up while it was cooking because it did make them a little bit more pliable. But, so let's do this a little try here. Not as good as at home, but it's also camping and backpacking, so that makes it better. So, I got some work to do on it. Um, other than that, I, I really like it. So I, I think we're going to be using the hiking hash browns more often. So give it a try. Um, give me a comment. See how you liked it. Uh, if you have any better ideas or different recipes, feel free to leave me a note. Thank you.